Hi, it is Ayi Kong Tam again. So I have received many messages asking me to further elaborate the I4C and also some questions on what is Wing Chun's Man Sao is about. So today I like to share with you what I understand on this topic. Okay. Now before I share with you I like to further uh, address that I am a Wing Chun uh, martial art researcher okay I don't want to be get into those a uh, uh, grandmaster best fighter those stuff and in fact for recent two weeks I've been asked by uh, both Sifu in, uh, in China and worldwide why don't I ask those who learn from me to call me Sifu and uh, according to them if they learn your art they must call you Sifu I told them flat I like to be a researcher and if I teach I like to be like in the university okay Yes, all this traditional of a Sifu calling is for respect. I understand that. However, there's a lot of abusing on that. And thus, I, as you all know, on this Wing Chun West, I want to promote university education. Okay? So it's not about uh, Sifu say so or Hendrik say so. It, it got nothing to do with that. Everything has to be based on the science and the technology okay so let's go so I foresee number one is one has to realize that fighting is about a handling or exchange of impulse impulse as the change of momentum that's the first thing one need to realize that when one fight one get into that impulse momentum change or input momentum handling states Okay. without be able to do that and perform in that impulse exchange state one is not playing one doesn't know what's going on so for example what is uh, this uh, uh, impulse exchange state it is not Oh, it is not that. Okay, so impulse exchange state is like that. Okay, everything go. Okay, there, there, there's just uh, some some kinds of example for that. It doesn't have to be martial or anything. When you fight, you get into that. Okay, so if one is not trained with that. And one is not developing one skill for that. One cannot play. Because one don't even know what it is. Okay? Now, we come to the second key of, or second criteria of I for C. When you play with the impulse, the body mechanics, namely the feet, the body or the trunk and the hand has to be well developed. The mechanics has to be there. Okay? And be able to generate the impulse, the handle the uh, CG. Otherwise, one do not have the baseline to play. So as in my other video, you can see it in this uh, H3C, okay? Let's describe that. Now, that's the second key. The third key is this. If I stand like that, I'm going to get out of breath the first two punch. Okay, if I want to uh, uh, force it to be fast, I, I, sometimes I tense it, I stop breathing. That is not going to get you to be able to with one breath to handle this momentum that's why you require 
the diaphragmatic breathing and your mechanics it is one or mechanics for the handling of the momentum or the impulse is one they are actually support each other so one can use the strength and keeping happy breathing because you need the breathing to support you that's why it's very important to get into the low abs breathing you just simply cannot stand like that where you can't even breathe to play in this game okay so the realistic way is like when people strike the, the heavy bags all those training okay that that you can see whether you can breathe or not and so the the third key is actually the mechanics and the breathing has to be in one when I talk to you I can I can strike while I talk to you and you can see my breathing that has to be seen now if I do this I cannot breathe I have difficult thing, uh, difficulties to talk to you okay so that is the third key the fourth key is once I slam in, it's not going to stop there. It's going to go bang, 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 bang. Continues on until one side get KO or take down and, and continues on. Okay? And while you go in here, it's going to change forward, backward, side to side, up and down. So, in a realistic way, when the momentum get uh, impulse get engaged here, it's going to change sideways. You exchange blow, okay? Expect the uh, extreme the blow, uh, blow, and then you go up and down for at least three, four continuous impulse. So the analogy is, if you have a two car crash, the car is not going to stop that. It's going to hit and spin and then slack before it can stop. So that's what it is, okay? So this is the I foresee. Without training this, you cannot say, oh, Xiu Pao, Tan Sao, uh, this uh, Fu Sao. You're keeping training this, if you don't know this I foresee, you're in trouble. Or you say, well, you know, the Qi Sao or the Fu Shan, that is a really different world compared with like one half of you. Okay, this is a slow speed. In the high speed thing, the whole thing is gonna smash in. There's no time for you to cheat the push hand. Then all the gin can break down. So that's why if you look at the Thai boxing in Thailand, you see the speed, you see the, the momentum, the impulse. Look at the Kyokushin, look at the uh, MMA, Western Boxing. You, you simply don't have those uh, Chi Sao stuff, uh, slowly internal Chi. It's not that, it's a different world. It's a world of impulse. Okay? So this is reality. And you have to be able to sustain. You, you cannot say, wow, Panda, okay? And then ball, and then uh, this of all kind of combination. This is not it is. Because when you go in like that, I might exchange punch from here. The next thing, probably with the chin sideways, with the elbows right, the knees right here, go in or take down, okay? So now what is that? Like one strike, your, your breathing has to be able to support that. So, saying this, what I want to present to everybody is that this is a science. I don't want to promote the, the, the legendary who is the grandmaster, who is the uh, best fighter. This is a science, a reality of Chinese mas traditional Chinese martial arts of Wing Chun in the basic common denominator, the I foresee. If one don't train that way, one is in serious problem because one don't know what is one facing, okay? Now, so, the I4C is the general platform. 
Now we talk about the four momentum slope. Okay. Say this is the the opponent. If I am a long long face guy who is good in the the uh, the, the the long face zone, okay, in the long face zone, of course my body, the mechanics will be trained. The, the second key will be trained good at the long face where you have the distance, the, the momentum play, okay, okay. Now, if I'm a short strike, of course. I have to train in the uh, develop in uh, to be good in the short strike momentum play. That's the difference. So one don't go saying that oh, this you got a long face or short strike you always fight this way. You don't. In the traditional Chinese martial arts, people have their expertise. Okay, if you want to fight the long, long fist way, that is the long fist way. If you want to fight in the short strike way, that is the short strike way. Okay, one need to know one's art. Now, go to the Man Sao questions. So, what is the Wing Chun Man Sao is about? If you are long fist. Long face guy. People sometimes slap in hand to clear the path or to see the directions or the setup. Okay? For example, if I want to go this, this knockout punch. Okay? I can jab him, jab, not, not strike, jab and come in. Okay? Meaning that. Jack and turn to different angle and shoot him. The long fist guy. For Wing Chun, which is a short strike. Because short strike has to go close. Okay, there's a different way of fighting. So Wing Chun testing usually is hand and the footwork has to be coordinated very good. Okay, so for example, I'm not testing him this way. I test this way, test this way. Okay, it's a footwork test. I test this way. If he's slow, I crush in already. Okay, if I test this way, he is fast. I have to go sideways. So in Wing Chun, the footwork is extremely important. You cannot stand like that. To practice the footwork, you cannot stand like that. To practice the footwork, and sure, the long fist, the footwork is also important and always important because this is about momentum, momentum or impulse. You always have to use your feet, your body, trunk, and your hand to generate that impulse. However, they are different, and the Wing Chun is, you know, you don't you don't touch him this way. Because if touching this way, do not move this way or stay this way, he's going to, this is a long fist zone. He's going to just move certain thing and I'm in his uh, uh, zone of fire, yeah, he can knock out. So in Wing Chun, you test right the way you go in. You don't wait for him. Something, some, sometimes people say, okay, you go do a man's out, okay? And then you want him to punch you, you strike you. So after he strike you, you want to go in. Well, that is actually not the Wing Chun timing. That's a wrong timing. Because if I strike him and I miss, when I hand going in, if I'm a long fist guy, you come in, this strike is on the way to go and I always can change my direction, my angle. Okay, so the Wing Chun timing is, once you test it, there's a reaction, he shoot you, right away you go in, while he shoot, you shoot in. That is called, uh, in the Mandarin uh, 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 Quinquit, it's called, Rang Er Bu Rang Nai Wei Jia. 
I give away without give away. That is the way. Okay. Meaning that I test him. I test him with my inputs. He's coming, he wanders. If he's very fast, too fast, faster than me, I give it to him while I'm entering here. Okay? So that timing is he shoot you, you shoot him. So that is a, a queen quit for that. Okay? So as he said, I always quote it here. Long coming, short receive. Okay? You close in. And you let him have what he want while you have what you want that is all combination into one okay so you come in okay because I'm the socks right long come in socks right have to close in the timing is I let you have what you want I slide in okay you see so that's how it is in the in the in the, in the socks right now now Without training, you cannot play this short strike up. You, you cannot say, well, I train Wing Chun, but in the fighting, guess what? That, that is not short strike. It's not according to Hendrik. It's according to what the traditional Chinese martial art documents. We talk by facts what it is. So we don't have developed their art. We don't develop the I four C for the short strike. Then in the fight, that's why in the fight you just call fight in the default long fist way. And if the opponent is expert in training in the long fist I four C, we are in the deep, deep, deep trouble. Okay, because they know how to play the game. Their body is conditioned with it. We are not. Okay? And even worse is that we are not conditioned in our killing strength. We are not. Okay? So so this is reality. Got nothing to do with me. All this thing is if you dig out the history, the technology, and the science of the Wing Chun, you can see this. Okay? Now, the last thing I want to share with you guys. You know, Wing Chun Bilji is a strike, it's not a jab. So Wing Chun need a jab, right? So what is it? Well, if you look at 1850 years, Siu Lim Hao Kui, he said that Bong Elbow, Short Finger, Okay, bong elbow, short finger, present to the hero. It is the short finger, which is the jack, the short finger. Because the short finger actually is more agile and more lightweight compared with the Buji. Okay? So Wing Chun Jack is that 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 short finger jack. Not this. This is this is heavy. This is like a strike. Uh, 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 a mirror punch, a punch. Not that, uh, not that, not that jack. Okay. So Wing Chun have all of this thing. We today still can retrieve all this thing. So my view is to retrieve all of this because it is a science, a science of fighting of our uh, of Wing Chun. A share for everybody, and I do not want to promote. I'm number one fighter, I'm the number one guru, I'm the one number one grandmaster, or uh, uh, I, I say so, I don't want to promote that. Why? You need an education. And once one has these educations, many times we run away. Why? Because we know we cannot handle that. And that's good. That's self-defense. Who say running is not self-defense? Who say a white fighting is not self defense? Okay. So, this is what I like to share with you today, and uh, as well I tell everybody that I like to retire from this because we sort on this thing out. It is politically incorrect to keeping tell what is the fact. Politically incorrect. So, 
I don't want to be in that position. I like everybody to not trust me, do not believe me, but whatever I say, go dig it up and see is it the case or not. I might be right, I might be wrong. Dig it up. Only that way it will be like a university environment. Okay? One generation is better than the other generation. So this is uh, what I'd like to share with you today and don't ever go like the movie Mansal this way, wait back behind it. You are not be able to generate the, the inputs fast in and your hand will be trapping there if you don't know what happened next. Okay? Those are movie, not, 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 those are not real thing. And for those who have a long fist, they can change. Around here, you see my body change. There's a lot of change for the long fist guy. So you cannot say, I'm a tan sao like this. It is invalid. And Wing Chun is not tan pong fu. Tan pong fu just techniques. You need to know what is the Wing Chun in post. Then, you study that. And then you develop that. Okay, so this is for you today.